keypad matrix is a very useful tool when we need to communicate lots of switches with a microcontroller by using a small amount of GPIO pins. In this video, we are going to show how to 4x4 matrix keypad works and we will make our own library and some basic coding stuffs. So let's get started. In this 4x4 keypad, we use 16 switches by utilizing only 8 pin of the microcontroller. In the 4 rows and 4 column, every switch is connected one end with the row and one end with the column. And the key pattern is look like this. Let assume all rows are connected with VCC and all columns are connected with microcontroller pin for reading the switch value. When any switch is pressed, that column or that microcontroller pin get 5 fold and we can simply read that. But here is the biggest problem to know which switch is pressed. Because ABC is connected with the same column and 369 is connected with the same column and so on. If any key is pressed in between ABCD, only column 4 is getting activated. So that we need to solve it up. If we activate the rows one by one and read the column pin in every milliseconds or microseconds. So if any switch is pressed, one column is must activate and on that time which row was activated if we find that so we can say which switch was pressed i am using a arduino to control the 4x4 keypad i will use the registers directly for that all rows are connected with port b's most significant bits and all columns are connected with the port C significant bits. And I connected 1 kilo ohms registers with each column to ground for pull down. In this code, I am using directly registers map. Uh, in the setup, I am using DDR register for declaring port B most significant bit as output and port C most significant bit as input. And start the serial communication in 9600. In the loop, I use only one function and in the function, I use a for loop for control the rows one by one. I use the left shifter function to shift the bit one by one. In the loop sequence, it coming look like this. And I read the port C by if statement. In any key is pressed, so just print one statement. After uploading the code, look on the serial monitor. If any key is pressed, so it is printing one print statement. This is the final code to read the keypad. I am using two dimensional array to store the character value of the keypad. In setup, I am declaring port B as output and port C as the input and start the serial communications. In loop, I call one function only and in the function I pass a one variable address because this function is take one pointer argument. Then I start the loop for four times. Then I left shifted that value and read the port C by the if statement. I read here the all column value by the port C. So it must come one, two, four or eight according to the column value. Then a small delay for debounce. 
then I call one more function that is key select with two argument. I, I pass the row number and column value to this function. In this function, I used a switch case and the column reading value must be 1, 2, 4 and 8 according to the binary value already told. Then I check the value if it is 1 that means I pressed a button on the first column. Then pick the character value from two dimensional array and return the value on the end of the switch case. Like that. I make the case 2, case 4 and case 8. And by the row and column value means i and column value. I take the exact character from the array. and print that value. That's it. And this character to integer function is only convert the character to binary and print it. Don't worry about it. So let's compile, upload and check it on the serial monitor. Yeah, it's working. So that is the keyword matrix basics and how to control it. And this concept you can use to control any of the keypad. All the code are given below. Check in the description. This is the full tutorial on keypad matrix. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And see you next time.